Hey guys, welcome back to another episode where I play the Serious Sam 4 game that people like to see me play. Um, I just noticed that Adventures of Peshko got two new maps? When did this happen? Well, I don't know. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna play through the first map and just kinda work our way through this. It's been a while, actually, since I played Adventures of Peshko. I almost, well, I don't want to say I did, but I honestly did kind of forget <laughs> that this map existed. So yeah, kind of excited to see what got changed, if anything got changed, what stayed the same. And just chill out, you know. I have work in a couple hours, want something to do. So here we go, gonna do something. Also, if you hear any noises during this, it's because I have a cat in the room with me. Currently, she's sleeping on the bed, but might wake up any second and start meowing her head off. So, apologies in advance for that. You know, I probably should have loaded the map first before starting this. Oh, no, there we go. We're fine. Okay, cutscene that I can't skip. That's always a good sign. This will, of course, not really be a blind run because I played through the first level already. Next two levels, though, haven't actually played those, so those are going to be blind. And this is somewhat blind because I haven't actually played this map in a long time, and for all I know, it could have been updated beyond recognition. Start seems to be very similar, though. Let's see, what do we have? We have seven secrets. Well, I know that there's... My right crashed during my beauty sleep. Any survivors? Just me. The rest of your team is headed towards the seaside. I need you to get there on foot and regroup. Head east from your current location. Roger that. Hell yeah, the voice acting is back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Am I the only one that likes... Pesco's voice acting. <laughs> it's so good. Now let's see what we have over here. We have stuff. I'm starting to kind of remember. Now you can't jump over this side, you can only jump over the other side. Oh yeah, this map loves invisible walls, I forgot. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of lag and lots of invisible walls. Everything that I was hoping for when I bought Serious M4. All jokes aside, let's play through this and see what we can glean from this experience. Knifing Nar is always fun. They're easy. Come at me, boy. Okay. Ah, this fight. Why the fuck can I jump over there? What? What kind of fourth wall breaking shit is this where... No! <laughs> Peshka wasn't supposed to do this? What? Yeah, why the fuck can't I jump over this? <laughs> That's... A pretty funny excuse for why there's an invisible wall here, but seriously, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Just put a secret there. Jeez. <laughs> Oh god. That's great. That did... Wait, was this here before? I don't think so. What did it do? Hold on. Can I... break down the door with my combat knife? No. Okay, so... I pressed the switch. I can't climb on this. Peshko doesn't say the funny line. That's kind of a disappointment. I like that he's self-aware, though. He's just like, uh... This is shit. <laughs> can I do anything? Ooh, I can jump on top of this. That's fancy. You gotta love jumping on top of stuff. 
Hey, you can even jump up here. That's cool. But I can't go back there. Probably for the best because it doesn't look like you can escape. Well, I press something. What does it do? I don't remember that switch being there in the original build. Eh, I can't jump over this? Why? I'm gonna backtrack all the way to the start, because usually if you press something like that, then chances are it'll spawn something behind you, I don't know. Or maybe it spawns something further ahead. Let's find out. I am curious, so what that was. Maybe you have to press like a series of switches, and that's just like the first. Oh, Oh, here. Yay, exciting fight. Let's go. Is it still damn you? Ooh, the lag. Bitch ass, I see you. There. Yay. Oh my god, sit still. I can't aim. <laughs> mm. Oh, what? <laughs> That just bounce me up into the air. Okay, that's great. Nar? Good to see you. Clear, not so good to see you. What are you... Oh, uh, okay. This looks so easy. How come this isn't a secret? Look at this. I can walk up here, I can jump on top of this little thing, and if there's collision you could probably get on top of that rooftop there and put like a life gadget or something. Why is it so hard? And why does this table have an invisible wall on top of it? It doesn't make any sense. Why does the box have invisible walls? Why, why does everything have invisible walls? Why? Eh. I just want to express myself, damn it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Guess we're not doing that. No fun allowed. Wait, what's back? Do I want to go that way or that way? E I think I'll go to the left. Oh, so laggy. Lag central. Caution. No you. Get over here, damn you. What's over here? Health. That's nice. I like health. Um, what? What? You had to walk all the way back there to realize I was over here. Okay, that's... A plus. Oh, shit. B minus. Oh, and the lag. Maybe it's because I'm re recording at 1440p, but I think it's just because Sirius M4 is Sirius M4. Oh, that's a big one. I felt it. Oh, I can't even walk through this. Why? I, I, why are you so worried about making getting back easier? Like, look at this. You can jump on top of this, jump on top of that box, walk over, and you're over the gate. That's a lot faster and more intuitive than walking all the way around like this. Like, the actual level design looks like it's good and it's connected, but no, there's invisible walls everywhere. You have to always take the long way to do stuff. And you have to lag every two seconds, otherwise it won't be serious and for. Not really the map author's fault, but man, it's bad in this area. What is all this? Stop. Just stop. Do not cross. I remember this is a secret that spawns in Le Zelit. Yeah, there he is. Hey, how you doing? 
How many am I at right now? I'm at two. Two. Okay. Yeah, I, I pressed the switch, but it didn't do... And how come I can't walk back here? This is perfect for, like, an optional fight. Oh my god. Okay. Whatever. <clears throat> it's so bad. Uh, help. I'll just press E on all of you. Hey, this is the way you do it. Oh shit. Actually, I want you dead first, and then I want to find a sniper, so see one. Where's the second one? Ow, balls. Dude. Oh, okay, I saw one. He's up there somewhere. I don't know where he is, but I know he's up there. And that... that's blocking all my shots. What? What? Where'd you come from? Even the invisible walls don't like me in this game. Ooh, I saw you. Okay. Now where are you? Oh, you're right there. Okay. Great. Fantastic. I lost all my health. And armor. At least the performance is a little better, I think. Kinda just unfucked itself. Oh, you can't jump behind that! Why? Why? Why, game? What? Why won't you let me do this? Look, look! I wanna get up here. <laughs> you can add a secret there. You don't even have to make it a secret, it can literally just be supplies. Not everything has to be a secret. Look at this! What? What is this? What? Ah, oh, I don't get it. I truly don't get it. And what's so bad about this? That I can't walk in? Uh, why? 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 Why have all this shit? This is probably the stuff that's causing the performance. Just get rid of all of this. Get rid of the ambulances, get rid of the cars, get rid of the immunity assets, get rid of all this bullshit, and the map would probably run a thousand times better, and you wouldn't lead players on to think, oh, maybe there's something back here. Ah, no, there's not. I can't jump over it. Like, ah, it, 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 bo it boggles the mind. It really does. Why can't I jump on top of this car and over... Okay. What? Why can't I jump over this the ambulance? The level design. Even he agrees. What the fuck? Bro! I'm not even a speedrunner, but... Come on, that, that's that's obvious. That's the way back. That's the way you're supposed to go back. And... Ooh. Maybe the quotes are in here because he realizes it's bad and they maybe wants to fix it in the future. I hope that's the case. I could give you a thousand things to do in this area. Easy. I already have like 16 different combat scenarios planned out for this area. What do you think is going to happen here? Do you think it's going to be clear? Do you think it's going to be... Oh, what's this? Of course, another invisible wall. Why wouldn't there be one here? Ah. I think my mental sanity is just going out the window. Hopefully the next level's better. It is starting to come back to me, though. I do remember this level having just an incredible amount of invisible walls. I don't think I've ever seen a map with so many invisible walls before. And weird pathfinding. What? He's gonna just, like, randomly lunge and I'm... Okay. Yeah. The, the pathfinder. Wow, I'm actually more surprised that this doesn't have an invisible wall. That's crazy. Look, guys, I found something that doesn't have the invisible wall over it. AK. Wait, wait, wait. Did I do something, or is this actually here? I think this might actually be here intentionally. I don't think I 
After I kill these kamikazes, I want to check something. Uh, let's see... Links. No, it's not linked. It was actually placed here by the map. Okay, that's cool. I'm actually glad to see the workshop weapons finally, well, in custom maps. That's cool. Oh, let me toss a grenade in here. I want... I want to toss a grenade in here and just see, like, a fucking, like, gnar that's taking a shit fly out on fire. Like, that That would be funny to me. I want that. Make that a secret. <laughs> Ugh! I heard him. Where is he? He's down there somewhere. What? Oh, you're right. Okay. Yay, I'm killing stuff. Ooh. Ha, missed you, bitch. I actually do have plenty of shotgun shells, I could probably just do this. It didn't kill him, but it did damage him. That's nice. Oh wow, you can actually get up here. Incredible. Oh, the cat. Okay, the cat's starting to meow. Oh my. Okay, let me put the cat out really quick. There we go. Cat successfully put out of the room. I knew she was going to wake up sooner or later, so... Yeah. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Still only have two seek. Oh wait, this sign actually has a message. Off to Mark Kalashnikov. 74 to M. Ah, uh, yes. The 545 by 39 cartridge, the most beautiful thing ever created. I love that caliber so much. It's so fun to shoot. Way better than 5.56. Way more fun to shoot too. Okay, what do we have back here? More stuff if, uh... And I'm only on, like, two secrets. I don't think I found anything. Well, how can you find anything? That's a big question. Like, the place is so walled off. You know what? Okay. I think against, like, the clear skeleton, 762 might actually be better. Just because, well, they're made out of bone, so larger bullet would probably do more damage. The tumbling effect of the 545 round probably wouldn't do too much to them, plus it's meant to go straight through. I do remember this part. Again, soft targets like this, fucking 545. Or not 545, but uh, 556 would just like explode these guys. Which it does, because they explode. Oh, there, I took care of them. Nice. Vampire, come to me. Oh, and of course, invisible wall. Now, I remember there's a thing that you press, and one of these doors actually opens. I do remember that. Vividly. So, maybe it was a switch, and there's like another switch. Or maybe there's like three switches that you have to press. I don't remember. I have to probably watch my old video for reference. 
Okay, yeah, there's a switch here. Uh, okay, he just saw what I did to his friends and he's like, nah, I don't want any of that. Leave me be. Here it is. Wait, I remember you could go up the stairs, or am I crazy? I might just be crazy. I could have sworn that you could go up the stairs though. I'm gonna take this, just because why not, and also I'll take this same for good measure. I'm almost at the seaside, sir. Our group was unable to locate Team Delta. What do we do now? Regroup with the Rangers and hold your position. I'm sending a helicopter to get you out of there. Oh yeah, AK. Love the same. AK almost makes up for it. Almost. I still have the serious M4 weapons pack installed, but... So basically it's only affecting the shotgun and the pistol. Assault rifle on the other hand, or AK, this isn't gonna get affected. Because it's not in the main campaign. So there. It's actually pretty cool, I think it works well. Oh, you can actually get up here, wow, I am very impressed. You can actually get up here, what the fuck? I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this really hard. I'll just chill up here. Oh, he actually came in here. Kamikaze is eliminated. You know, I wonder if this thing would actually get, like, an upgrade. Because you can actually see it has, like, the mounting rail on the side there, so you could probably put, like, an Obzor sight on it. And have, like, a better range accuracy with it. I don't know. Might be cool. And then for gameplay purposes, it would also make the hip fire more accurate for just some weird reason. But it would give you, like, more zoom. That would be nice. Uh, hello? What are you guys doing up here? A <laughs> laggiest headshot ever. What are these guys doing? I'm probably gonna get killed instantly, but I wanna see. What what are you up to? One at a time. Please and thank you. Here, come get me. Nah. He didn't know how to get me. I want this to open up, but I want there to be something behind it. Oh, what's this? More clear. He missed. What about you? Awesome miss. Okay. And finally, we have you. Ooh, very close. I, I dare say that one actually got the closest out of all of them. Oh, and this is where you get the super shotgun. I remember that. What a horrible arena that is. And also, what is this? Ah, uh, I, don't, I don't even know. What am I at right now? I'm at three. So I have four more to go. <clears throat> Alright, let's collect this. 
And I don't feel like replaying the whole level, so I'm gonna do a save here. Alright. Naru. I know how to handle Naru, you just knife him. Hell, even these guys you knife. Well, most of the time you do. Ha, ah, take that. I'll gain some health off of you. And then lose it. Jank stabbing spree that I'm going on. There. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Hey. Okay. Oh god. I hate these things. These are the worst. Uh, hi. Okay, yeah, I don't like that fight, especially that final wave of kamikazes. They're really fast and this arena is really small. So I should... okay, I have three. Um... Hmm. I don't know if that's right. I don't think it is. Wow, nothing back there. Okay. What about over here? Anything cool? They're all just fire up in the air. Come get me. Regain a little bit of health off of you. Then probably lose it to this guy. Or not. Oh yeah, there is this secret. I do remember this one. What else do I remember? I remember there was something over here. Ah, that's what it was. What about on the other side? Is there anything here? No. Nah, okay. Invisible wall. Also, can I just drive this? Can I just skin... I don't know, it's textured up on top. That's kind of nasty. Okay, well, can't get inside the tank. That sucks. It looks perfectly functional, too. I mean, look at that shit. Doesn't even have a scratch on it. Oh, wait, this section's actually kind of cool. Because this guy bursts out of the wall like the Kool Aid Man. Doesn't he? No, the game freezes. Oh, yeah, no, he falls. And then Kool Aid Man. Yeah, there he is. Look at that swagger.
Yeah. Sock it to him. I do think this area of the map is actually really cool with like the destructible environment. Not so cool that you can't walk into here though. I can imagine placing like a tiny little secret there and having like some bombermen rain stuff down on you and then... I don't know, like maybe like two snipers or something. Or shield guys. Nah, snipers would probably work better because of the beams. Beams would probably catch some of those shield guys projectiles. Are we good? No, the ball's still flying around. Oh no, it got exploded. Okay, cool. Now, there's something back here too, I remember. Oh, that. Okay, apparently that's a secret. Honestly thought it would have been back here, but guess not. And a visible wall. I'm not surprised whatsoever. Although, if the invisible wall was removed, you could probably jump up here, walk along this, jump up here, and find some goodies. Like, maybe like a, C a hidden C4 stash would be nice. That would be cool. Yeah, like a tiny little C4 stash, it gives you like... Oh, I don't know, maybe like six? Six charges? Sounds about right. Wait, that's a secret? What, what did I do to open the door? I don't remember opening the door, do you? I remembered... Oh, oh! Maybe that switch at the very beginning of the level is actually what opened this thing up. That could be. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe the switch at the very beginning of the level that I was wondering what opened, opened this. I'm guessing that's it. I actually don't know. Yeah, look at that go. I like this little linear fight. This one's cool. It's laggy, but it's cool. Uh, it's been so long since I played this. The pathfinding of the enemies is so odd. Look at them, they're just kind of like going. Okay, here it actually kind of makes sense why there's invisible walls, but I would honestly just use these concrete barriers and make them taller, and make it so that it's that way all the way around. And just remove whatever this stuff is. That way it would actually kind of look more like an, like an evacuation center. Instead of having the chain link, it would be like these tall imposing concrete walls all the way around, and... Yeah, you know, maybe like slap some posters up on there about like the EDF being the greatest or whatever. I think that would be kind of cool. Turn this place into kind of like a makeshift evacuation center. You can put some of these tarps, but like put them in front of the concrete walls. Maybe you could make this thing open still. Oh yeah, I think flamethrower is actually good for this part. There. I'll just toast you. Or no, shotguns do the job. There. Uh, my friend's trying to show me the progress he's making on his survival map. Rusev, the person that made the awesome Frenchie survival map. I want to play it. Well, I'm probably going to play it again anyway. Because I think he's going to update it at least once more. Maybe... Oh, that's main. I, you know, I could have actually used the flamethrower against him. The flamethrower would have killed him. Yeah, I think this could actually still be open and you could include, like, a gadget or something, or maybe some extra flamethrower ammo. 
I don't know why I thought like that weird sound effect was a drone, but no, it's actually the waves. Hey. Okay. Do you know how badass it would be if Sam had like an Obzor side on this? Just blinking heads. That would have been so cool. I love Russian military stuff. You know what? They're all flooded. Just hold your position. Pick up his four clicks away from you. You know, I wonder if someone would actually make like a Croatian VHS rifle and put it in the workshop. Since this map technically is supposed to take place in Croatia, that would actually make a little bit more sense than AK, but AK still fits, or fits, I would say, pretty thematically. But imagine if you had like the Croatian VHS 2 rifle. Kind of like a FAMAS, and you would basically just hold your position. That'd be nice. Oh, look at him go! Why did he duck inside the car and get back on the thing? What is he doing? The madman. How did that biomech shoot rockets diagonally at him and then at me? That doesn't make any sense. Now you deserve all the rockets, okay. Man, how many rockets do you take, boy? Die. He takes all ten of them. Okay. Oh, now I can walk forward a little bit. Is that a modified Jones voice line? Also, I still don't get why the sprinting animation for the flamethrower hasn't been fixed for the Born to Run skill. I'm not really a resource maker or anything, so I don't know what the deal is. Probably some weird technical mumbo jumbo I won't understand. I would really appreciate it if someone could fix the sprinting animation on the flamethrower though. Because it has one. You can see it works, but for some reason if you have born to run it just like is stiff out in front of you and looks really odd. I'm also kind of running low on ammo. Oh, there we go. Cool. That's the end of level one. Well, let's see what bloodletting is all about. This will be blind, and it'll be fun. I think. We'll see. And that took me an extra 10 minutes to beat for some reason. Maybe I was taking my time. I don't know. Probably bitching too much about how many invisible walls there are. So, quick synopsis, or synopsis of that map, rather. Um, I think the setting is actually kind of interesting. You don't really see a lot of urban environments. Well, that's an understatement. You do get a lot of urban environments in Sirius M4. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually just going to cancel that point entirely, so... Uh, still, for what it is, pretty unique setting. Just wish that there weren't so many invisible walls. There's a lot of opportunities for supply caches, finding weapons early, doing all that kind of cool stuff that you would want to do in a campaign, introduce an early rocket launcher, yada yada. Uh, ending is actually good. I like the ending section a lot, especially where the corpse falls on the car and the canoe smashes through the wall and then the wearable smashes through the other wall. That's all cool stuff. So yeah, that's my take on the level. Too many invisible walls. Lots of cool little environmental detail, which may or may not be annoying. I don't know. Okay, cutscene. Ooh, that was a walking you know, animation. I don't like the concrete. I tried my best. The fingers! went rogue, so we're doing this on our own. All entrances to the capital are heavily guarded. What are those fingers? Forces, which means the only way is underground. 
northeast from here, there's a tunnel <coughs> entrance that will lead you into the capital. Problem is, it is no longer occupied by the EDF. Sergeant William has the keys to access these tunnels. His last known location is at the refinery northwest from here. And the problem is? Ooh. It's very close to the city entrance. Going a step further will result in death. How do I get to the refinery? The highway roads are blocked. There is a small military outpost, just a click from here. Go through it, and you'll end up on the road to the refinery. Uh, what about the traffic? There should be. Okay, those are some of the weirdest sausage fingers I think I've ever seen. What do we have in terms of secrets? We have an ammo pack here, but I can't restock on my rockets. Okay. And this song. This song is from the London Nile. I suggest you take one of these bikes here. You drive carefully. There are many traps placed on the road. Uh, what? Okay, if there's traps on the road, why don't you idiots do something about it instead of sitting around here with your thumbs up your ass? What? <laughs> Stevel. Hey, Stevel. How you doing, bud? Nah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Wait, can I shoot the ladder? Ah, oh, that would be cool. Imagine if you could shoot like a lock on the ladder and it makes it fall down and then you can climb up the ladder and get into that little crevice there and you can find like an early something. I don't know. Ooh, this guy looks like he's about ready to take a ship. And your fingers, bro. What, what are with the fingers? They look like sausages. What the fuck? Are there really no secrets in this opening area? That can't be. Oh, it can be. There's an invisible wall. Okay, first of many, I'm sure. Why a bike? Why not let me take one of these tanks and do this level Halo style? Oh, well, then again, it is Serious Sam 4. It doesn't actually let you drive tanks for some weird reason. Do you know how cool that would be, though? If you actually had, like, a dedicated tank level in Serious Sam 4? Where you get inside the tank, you drive down the road, you know, you have like airships flying in, you shoot them down, you have. That would be fucking awesome, that would be badass. <laughs> Good luck out there. <laughs> Good luck out there. Okay, I'll take one of the bikes. Oh, yeah, and also imagine co op possibilities if you actually let people ride on the back. You can see clearly if there's a backseat on this. But, for whatever reason, like, you can't sit on it. Do you know how fun that would be? If you got on this and you had, like, a co-op buddy that got on the back, and they are able to dual-wield guns, so you'd have some asshole on the back, like, dual-wielding laser rifles while the main player drives around and shoots around with a pistol GTA style. Dude, that would be awesome. That would be cool. Oh, no. Look what it says. Let me get a good zoom in. It says, Sirius in cursive. Oh, you, you can't get any cheesier than that. I respect it. Okay, what do we have here? Can I do anything? Anything at all? No? Guess I should have guessed that one. Oh, and helicopters! Imagine if... I don't know, like, I, for whatever reason, like, when I heard about Sirius Sam foreign vehicles, I thought it would be really interesting if, like, the core gameplay of Sirius Sam was there, which it is still here, but you had like, kind of like that weird half-open world thing of Battlefield and also like Halo to an extent. Where you just kind of get in random vehicles, your buddies are able to hop on your motorcycles, you're able to drive to different places. And then of course for the single player campaign you would just, yeah, have a lot of fun driving around and shooting stuff anyway. That's actually kind of what I imagined the series Sam Ford being like when I heard about the trailers and saw them. I was thinking... Man, how cool would that be? You know, it's like me and like a few buddies were driving around, some dude on the back has a minigun and I'm shooting away. Cool stuff. Um, not so cool stuff, invisible wall that kills you. What? I went down a slope. I suggest you take one of these bikes here and drive carefully. There are many traps placed on the road. Drive carefully? Fuck you. What? What? I knew it. I knew that there had to be a secret in this opening area somewhere. Hey, 
I don't even know what he told me. He said like, ah, turn around or something. He, he was like really mad at me. Good luck, I guess. Syringe. Any supplies? No. Okay, I'll just go. Enough reminiscing about what could have been. Maybe in the future modders will be able to find a way to do stuff like that where you can have customizable vehicle, well not customizable vehicles, but vehicles that allow players to sit on them. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Okay, so lesson. Never jump down, because apparently you die instantly. So I'm gonna quick save. And I'm gonna jump off anyway, fuck you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they really don't want you going off the highway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you just drive off like two feet and the fucking motorcycle explodes in there like a motor shell. <laughs> Why? Oh, speaking of shit that I wish was in the game, for whatever reason you can't use secondary fire modes on your weapons when you're on a vehicle. So if you have like the shotguns, underbarrel grenade launcher, you can't use it. And if you have like multi rockets, you can't use it, you can't detonate grenades. It's weird. You know? Scenic overlook of death. If you take one step off of this, you will die. Hopefully one of these physics props doesn't just like dart me off into oblivion. Well, it's a nice scenic overlook, I guess. Oh, that's laggy. What about over here? What do we have over here? Think about it, man. Think about it. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. Oh, and they have road spikes. That's dangerous. I could have wasted my vehicle. Wait, what? Oh! Where'd you come from? Stevo! From the base? You followed me all the way out here? What the fuck? Yo, get on my vehicle. Home Slice, come here. Yo, get on this. Let's do some Halo shit. No, he just... Uh, okay. Is he like my personal bodyguard for the remainder of this mission? Dude. Got each other's backs. Hell yeah. Got fucking Stevo. Oh. I also have. Wait, where. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? Oh, he's showing me the way, okay. Well, there's nothing back here. That's kind of disappointing. What about over here? Can I do anything? No, invisible wall, of course. No fun allowed. Well, let's explore the base. Ah, shit. Let me get on the roof. Yeah, we're doing it in style. Yo, Spec Ops. Nah, I can't drop on the roof. I was gonna, like... Go down there like Splinter Cell and snap somebody's neck. But nope. No fun allowed. Can't do it. It's too realistic. That's why you need invisible walls. <laughs> oh shit, Stefo. Watch your ass, boy. I got you covered. That was double teaming. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, tactical reload. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having so much fun with this. It's like I'm just being followed by one person that is somewhat useful. Oh no, he's taking damage. No, Stuffo gets cover. They got rockets. I got you covered, brother. Oorah. <laughs> Let's go, Marines! <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stevo is the best. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> He's so fast. Look at him move. He's like uh, right behind you, Sarge. Hell yeah.
Ooh, raw the ashes. Yeah, get them. Oh no, kamikazes. That was the last time I wanted. Oh, what? What? Whoa! What did that? What, what is this guy? God, he really is a fucking wizard lizard. Look at him, like... Ah, uh, what kind of... what? Yo! Asshole! Quit teleporting through the floor! Get over here. <laughs> Yo, Marine, let's commandeer one of these tanks. Be the baddest mothers in the core. I don't even think Croatia has marines. I don't know enough about their military structure. I'm always fascinated by, like, military stuff. I'm a big weird person when it comes to that, so... I'd kind of like to know or study up on it some more, I guess. Plus, it's fun. Military stuff is cool. What can I say? It brings out, like, the inner 14-year-old in you. You see, like, ooh, gum. That's. I don't know. No, Stavo! I got you, brother! Oh. <laughs> Get some! Oh. Got my six. Watch your three o'clock, brother. Oh, go over here. Flank them. Yeah. Wait, what? That's a lot of enemies just getting stuck in the walls. What are they even doing? Oh boy, another one. My favorite. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess that the C4 crate is actually a secret. Maybe. Nah, that would be way too obvious. Okay, it's not a secret, it's actually just there. Yo, could I use this? Bro, imagine if you had, like, mounted turrets, and you could actually have, like, a little turret section here. So, like, you would have, like, I don't know, like, two co-op partners or whatever they are, like, saying, shooting through the gates, and you have, like, one dude on the HMG, and he just, like, fires. Dude, that'd be fucking awesome. I was really expecting Serious Sam 4 to be, like, the best game in the series. I had so many cool ideas about stuff that I wanted to, you know, see make it into the final release product and it just never happened. It's such a shame. This could have easily been the best game in the series, without a doubt. And look at this, you got like mounted turrets everywhere that you can have people using. It would be like a fun as hell co-op experience and single player. And it is a fun game, I mean, it does have the hallmarks of a decently made game that's just laggy and buggy and it doesn't have any unique features that really sell it, you know? I mean, it's got driving and it's got quick swapping, it's got alternate fire modes for weapons, so it did add stuff, but it just, I don't know, it didn't add enough for me to really feel like this is the next step in the franchise. Like, when they said, oh, they're gonna add vehicles and they're gonna do this and they were talking about like an armored popemobile, I thought, yo, imagine if we got some military shit up in here where you got like tanks and you have buddies that can ride on top of the mounted machine gun up top and have someone that's a driver and there'd be resupply points all throughout France. Then there'd be some more ground grounded sections of combat where it's just classic serious Sam, shoot, shoot, you know. F familiar but introduce new stuff on top of it, that's really all I could have asked for with this game. And it did add stuff, but it, I don't know, it's just so lacking in so many ways.
Also, I'm curious, what's back here? Oh, nothing. That's why I told you to go that way. What well, sucks? How come you couldn't have had, like, an area over here and then, like, that would be, like, a side objective? Ah, eh, whatever. Let's go do the thing and see what it's all about. Oh, and check this out. There's a barrel, and you can actually climb on top of this. Wow. Cool. Okay, well, we'll take this, I guess, and drive it over here. I love how they're, like, going on the motorcycle and you're supposed to ditch it, like, immediately afterwards. What's the point? Yeah, is this gonna kill me if I walk up? No, it's just gonna give me an invisible wall. Okay. Alright, Stevo. Follow me, buddy. Uh, what's this? The gate opens. Okay. I really hope I can't kill this guy by accidentally touching him with the motorcycle. Yeah, got it. Yo, I also wish that you could actually tell your friendly NPCs to do stuff. I would love to tell them, like, go on the motorcycle while I take over the ATV. That would be sick. I'd be like, yo, Stevo, go on the motorcycle, give me some backup while I take the ATV. Or better yet, just, you know, have them hop on the back. Include, like, a little... I don't know, like a little booster seat or something for him to get on. <laughs> Ooh! I love those signs. I forgot what they're called. I think they're like... Well, it's a form of APC. Basically, it's... Uh, IPV, I think? Oh, can I... No, I can't. Damn. I want it. I want to drive these things. Like, why do you have so many cool vehicles in the game and you're just like, nah, sorry, you can't drive any of them, that would be too much fun. Also, I love how the road just has these fucking tire spikes all over the place, like, what's the point? Maybe it's intentionally trying to get you to break the tires on the vehicle so you don't... I don't know, actually. I don't know what the point is. Ooh, there's a sniper. And a canoe. Okay. Canoe, you die. I'm just gonna ram you. Like the bastard you are. Ooh, okay, this is fun. Hello. Hi, guys. How's it going over here? You having a good day so far? I mean, seriously, why can't I use the rifle grenades on the shotgun? That's so dumb. Oh yeah, this guy, he's gonna get rammed so hard he... That sounds really gay, actually. Never mind. I don't think this is the right way. I don't think this is the right way. Why, why not, Peshko? Invite, invite me. Why don't you think this is the right way? There's enemies coming from over there. No, oh, please. I want to hear your thoughts. I don't think this is the right way. Got him. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, fuck him up. Oh god, lag. Ooh, ooh, rocket. <clears throat> yeah, got him. Ooh, raw to ashes. Wait, where's Stevo? Where's my buddy? Did he make it? Oh, please don't tell me he died. Or got ran over. 
by me on accident. Damn it. I hope he didn't die. I hope he's still with me. I'm gonna go back and look for him after this. The fucking Legend of Stevo. Dude, that should be a spin-off series of the Adventures of Peshko. Just have like the fucking... What did I just say? Like the... I actually forgot what I just said. It was something about Stevo though. Like having him be like a side character. Because that guy's a true Chad. He's just like, hey, I got your back, buddy. I don't even need to use motorcycles to walk. And also, I hit my tire on something. I don't know what, but it's making my vehicle drive really wonky. I heard like a little pssss sound when you hit. S yeah. The vehicle's kind of toasted. That sucks. Maybe that's what I meant when he said like there's tons of traps on the road. But then again, since one of Mets want tire spikes, I don't even think he has anything that uses tires. Why wouldn't the EDF just remove them? It's not like they're really doing anything. And she's just gonna sit there, isn't she? Oh, okay. Yeah. I would have expected nothing less. Hit? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, big armor. I don't really need it. That's cool. Oh, and the troops are up there. Okay. Oh shit, maybe the sniper got Stevo. Oh no. I have to check on him. Hopefully he didn't die, or just abandon me for some weird reason. Dude, imagine the fucking betrayal if Stevo was just like, Nah, I don't need you, Commander. You can go die. That would suck. I'd be like, Stevo, my one and only friend in this cold-ass world. How would you leave me? And also, I need a new vehicle. Please tell me there's a vehicle here somewhere. You can actually get up here. I'm impressed. I'm surprised that there isn't a sniper rifle. I don't know why it would give you flamethrower ammo. It's not really a use for it, is there? Okay. Get on the roof. I'm on the roof, now what? Will I just fight off harpies? And that's it? I actually kind of like this. Wish I had a sniper rifle, but this is still pretty amusing, to say the least. Yeah, just finding some drones and some other stuff that tries to rival me. My roof. Go away. I don't want you here. Thanks. Cool. I actually like this level. It still has invisible walls, but you know what? It's actually more enjoyable than the other level. Or the first level, I should say. Pro Daya. Pro Daya. Okay. I think that means product. No, product means product in Croatian. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know enough about the language, so I'm just gonna stop making myself look like a fool right now. Okay, so I broke my ATV. That's really badly damaged. I'm still gonna take it and try to find my buddy. Plus, I did leave a motorcycle back there. I can probably catch up to him. Maybe. Just gotta watch out for the tire spikes.
Here it is. Sevo, you back here? Buddy? Best friend? Where you at? Uh, shit, I think he might have actually died. Oh no. I, I don't see this corpse anywhere. How do I know if I your next to Kim? Major dog tags. Ah, shit. Well, there goes another brave soul. Too bad. Yeah, I really do need to watch out for those tire spikes, though, for sure. I'm gonna put a quick save here, actually. Let's see. You can go to... Number one. Gorchula. Two. Order Beach. Or Order Beach. Ah, Yoda Beach. Not Order Beach. Dubrovnik. I know where that is. Then you have Stone. And Neon. Neon. Um, let's see, road wants me to go, or the GPS marker wants me to go that way, what's over this way? Ooh, maybe he got captured by the enemy and I have to free his ass. I'm coming, brother. I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> For whatever reason, just like thinking about saving this dude, I don't know why. <laughs> it's gotta be the dumbest thing I've thought of so far. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. How come there's like a no entry sign that's pointing this way, but there's road signs pointing that way? I don't get it. It's a two lane road anyway. That doesn't make any sense. Tower. Area. Invisible wall. Okay. Maybe I'll hit an invisible wall if I go far enough, and maybe the fucking motorcycle will just explode again. I'd probably shit my pants, but also laugh. I don't know, there's a satellite array thing over here. That looks interesting. Kinda wanna check that out. Hey, finally get a little bit of that Half-Life 2 exploration. And I see Belchers. Gonna slow down a little bit, though, I don't know what to expect. Ah, bunch of shit? Okay. I gotta make it to the tower. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I can hopefully take care of the sniper. Snipers. Starting with reptiloids. No, I saw that laser. You're not gonna get me. This guy is annoying. He keeps trying to dive bomb me. Oh, go away. Thanks. Alright, come out. Now where's the sniper on this rooftop? Oh, before I... Oh no, there's a few others that are over there. Okay, before I take care of you, I actually want to get a good vantage point on this reptiloid. Oh no, I see you. Okay. You die first. Uh, how do I even hit you from over here? Oh, I can do it like that. Okay, nice. Sniper, I think. Yeah, there you are. Secret, okay. Um, where's your head? Show me your head. Oh, okay, I got a head hit marker. I'll just kind of fire in this area. Yeah, okay. That works. Oh, maybe it's just where you're supposed to go after you do that. Oh, that, that, that actually makes sense. But at the same time, this place looks really interesting. I want to explore it first. Can I get... Well, knowing this map, probably not. I thought... Man, okay. Well, shit. 
I do want to take care of those Octanian snipers though while I still have an idea of where they are. Maybe if I shoot, it'll alert them, I hope. Nothing back here? Wow, okay. Wasted potential. Ooh, wait, maybe I have to interact with something out here and it'll make the gate open. Maybe. Nah, doesn't look like you can do anything. Well, I'll lead the snipers to it. I'll come back here later. First, let me grab my trusty motorcycle and get out of here. I did find a secret, though. That's pretty cool. I really want to get inside there. I really hope there is a way to get inside there. You know what, just in case I mess up, um, I'll just... Complex? Sure, why not? Also, Radio Tower, what secrets do you have? Can I climb you? No. Wait, could I blow up the gate with C4? I'll have to check that out later. I don't think I could. At least I don't see how you could be able to do it. Any secrets on the roof? No, but there are some supplies. I'll take those. Especially the bullets. I need the bullets. And I'll stop by here. Nah, okay, I thought there was... Whatever, let's just go. Alright, wasting enough time on this. What time is it anyway? 2.13, okay, I have plenty of time. Oh yeah, watch out for the tire spikes. Don't want to make the mistake of going over those. Wait, what does that roadside and say? Montclar. This is Croatia. Not... What? I know Montclar is not in Croatia. <laughs> okay, Spec Ops. Hardline. Let's I go. I don't think this is the right way. Fuck off, Peshko. I want to infiltrate the base. Finally. Snap rifle. I was wondering when one of these would show up. Oh. That's a very bland base. Nothing really to infiltrate. Okay, well I guess that's par for the course. Um, before I do, I'm gonna save it again. What happens if you just continue down the road and ignore this place entirely? Just theoretically. Well, enemy spawn, okay, that's good, I guess. What if I just say fuck it? I just keep going. I don't think I should be going this way. I do. Yo, let's go. I don't think this is the right way. Is that all you could say? <laughs> okay. So apparently, if you try to have any sense of freedom whatsoever in exploration, you get punished hard. Very hard. This is the people serious, Sam. You, you have no fun. Okay. Well, I'll show you. I can still have fun. Ah. I... Where, yeah, there it is. Is there another one, or am I just crazy? I see one sniper. I think a reptile just threw two fireballs. Okay, I see fireballs coming from that direction. I can't see the person flaming them though. 
too many trees. I'm gonna try to hug the wall. Yeah, there. Hug the wall, that way the snipers can't shoot me. Oh, okay, I think I know where you are. Kind of. Pesky Fen. Wait, what shot him? I didn't shoot him, he died. But how? <gasps> hey! Stevo! You made it! Oh my god, it's been too long, my friend. How have you been? The fucking legend. Yeah, that's why I wanted to call it the Legend of Stevo. Fucking, this guy is legendary. Damn. He will not die. He's so fucking good. I love this man. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like standing there, like, yeah, "What are you gonna do? Shoot my head off?" Uh, he's like asking the sniper. It's like, "Yo, uh, think you got the balls to shoot me?" <laughs> oh man, this guy's a riot. Love him. Oh, it's so laggy. Why is Sirius and Force so laggy all the time? I can't enter through here, why? Oh, look at that. I want to climb. <laughs> Got my back. Nice. This guy truly is a legend. No one in the EDF is more deserving of a promotion. Fucking stable. He is Droog. <laughs> oh, so that that okay. Oh, all the way up there. How do you like that? I like how the combat music just stops as soon as I kill him. They're like, fine, you win. Just take your victory. Nothing useful in there. Oh, that means there's something useful in here. Yep, I see it. Okay, smartass, how do you get in there? Oh. Wow. Not an invisible wall, that's how. I'm impressed. I'll do that. Mm. Is this a secret? Yes. No. I guess not. Okay. He... How did you get in here? Hold on. I want to see something. Uh, so I'm outside. Technically. How do you get out here? Buddy. Show me. What did you do? Did you go through here? Is this guy such a chad that he just fucking phased through the wall? I won't be surprised. No, not really. What, what would you do to actually get into there? Can you... Oh, don't tell me he's stuck. No, get out. Stevo, you're trapped. Oh my god, this guy. What? Wait, where? Oh, he's, he's still there. Okay. Oh, guys, just as stone faced as ever. Look at that. Damn. 
Oh my god, what? <laughs> Stevo. Damn, boy. I think he just fucking squeezed through the bars. Pretty sure he just like pried the bars apart and walked through. Or maybe he's just too good for this reality and just fucking phased through it. I don't know. Yeah, I hear him. Where are you at, boy? Uh, I wanna get up here. I don't think I can, though. I don't really see anything back there, either. Hmm, maybe it's for decoration. I don't know. Maybe it is a secret. Oh, sh hello. Where'd you guys come from? Okay, launch by six. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Minigun ammo. When I saw it. Okay. I'm taking that. Don't kick him. Show some respect. Oh no, they're trying to do a pincer maneuver. <gasps> Did they kill him? No. I heard that. Did you guys kill Stevo? Oh, you are so fucking dead. That was my brother. He was my droog. Oi. Stevo, I'm coming, boy. Oh, he's gone. Fuck. I can't believe it. They actually took the one good thing out of this level. Nah, I'm joking. This level's actually good. But they took the one good thing out of this world. Man, it's so pure of heart. Bullet with all your fucking names on it, boy. That's what you get for killing my buddy. Stop with the spawning now, this is getting kind of old. There, I win. In many ways I've lost. I lost my best friend. I will miss you. Oh, come on, this has to be a secret. Let me climb up this shit. No. What? What? Why is this tree so fucking sturdy? Yo, let me go back there. Bastards.
Wait, what? What? Uh, uh, hi. What? Why did you stop just to... So many questions. You saw that. He was doing his charging animation, and, like, at the last second, he's like, Hmm, nah. And he just fucking whaps you upside the head. I don't get it, man. Is there one that's just gonna burst through this door? Kool-Aid man his way through everything. Oh, come on, damn you. Ah, uh, so laggy. I'm still surprised that this wasn't actually a secret. How is that not a secret? I mean, I guess it, like, actually says, like, huh, this isn't really a secret, you're not supposed to go here, <laughs> but still. I'm pissed about Stavo. I can't believe they took him. How many secrets am I at anyway? I'm at four. So three more to go. Oh. <laughs> Two more to go. I'm gonna save. I don't know what they're gonna do in here, but it can't be good. Now, what does that do? sure actually what you know I did see a locked door back here maybe it opened that up okay there's one over here as well there. I'm still sick by the way, so sorry if I sound a little bit off. Um, okay. Yeah, it did. It unlocked the door. Maybe it unlocked some other doors too, and that's where I can find the other stuff. This is interesting just because it's white and not red. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, like, all the valves in this game, or most all of them anyway, are red valves. So I thought, like, maybe that did something. But, guess not. Still wonder if that's supposed to be tagged as a secret or not. It's entirely possible that that's actually supposed to be a secret, but it just was never tagged, somehow. Or maybe it wasn't, I, I don't know. That's the thing about these maps, is you never know if like the map author messed up and just didn't tag something, or if it's intentionally supposed to be like a secretive area that's not supposed to be tagged. And it makes my job a little bit harder. Oh. 
Okay, is this a level exit or is there actually still more to go? Because if there's more to go, then that would actually indicate to me that there might be some stuff that's hidden around. Oh, there's some collision here. You can kind of jump up. Hold on. Eh. I don't know if there's anything up top, though. Doesn't really look like it. Can't phase through the wall, either. What's up here? Oh, hello. I'll take that. And I saw some armor. I'm here. Did you find William? Uh, I can't say really. And the key? Uh. I'm gonna have to call you back. What just did that? Ooh, the music. I think it wants me to use a minigun. Yeah. That seems about right. Was it the boss? Oh, how convenient. Sensor are targeting. What are you targeting anyway? Oh my god, what a... Stop spawning, please. I think it wants me to jump on this, what do you think? That is a lot of biomax, what the fuck? Does it want me to jump somewhere? English, please. Um. Okay. What am I supposed to do? What is this? What? Uh, what? What? Do I... 
Maybe I just have to fight off all the enemies, I don't know. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to save it. Damn. Okay, hold on. So, gotta take care of this guy, and then... You're there. you have to kill all those enemies, do you? Seems like quite a bit. To kill with all the limited ammo that you have. Save. Okay, and then it hits that thingy. Cool. I still have no idea what they're doing. I need shooting out. Okay, and then save and see what this is all about. Um, what? Okay, so I jump on this and start shooting the drones. I didn't even walk, how did I fall off? Get in and shoot Suka, okay. So I am supposed to enter it. Oh, you just kind of walk in, okay. I'm actually surprised how well that works. Take the key. We 
don't need keys. Just shoot them. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Basically, it's kind of crouch walk into this and then you shoot. Okay, nice. Damn, boy. Oh, this is where he takes you. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Good thing I kind of cleared it out already. For the most part. There's a giant fucking fart cloud of drones chasing me. Oh, hello. I think one got stuck to the front. Okay. <laughs> wow. What do I say about that? <laughs> it's actually kind of a cool ending. Um, okay, so where to start? Um, starting with negatives, still invisible walls. That's never really cool. Um, also, uh, Ste or Stefo or Stevo uh, fucking died. That sucks. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna live forever. Wait, 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 wait. What if the person that was in the van actually was Stevo and he just like fucking resurrected himself from the grave? No, actually, that would be cool. Okay, never mind. That's metal as fuck. I'm just gonna pretend that's how it is. The actual positives, though, I think the level itself was pretty interesting, although obviously would like to explore it a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's about it. Wish I could explore it a little bit more. It has a lot of cool ideas and set pieces, and I especially like that ending sequence where you get on the truck. I think it would be easier if like you actually pressed the use key and got into the thing, because I didn't even think to just crouch walk into it. I don't know. It, it's fine for what it is. It's really cool. I can see a lot of work was put into it, but it still needs a lot more work to be done, I think, before it's going to be fully enjoyable. That's about it. Thanks again for watching.